Hi guys, so by now you should be feeling pretty confident with decimal fractions and common fractions. Now we need to talk about percentages. So we need to be able to convert something like 35% to a decimal. All you do is the following. So when you have a percentage, to get rid of the percentage sign, you write the number over 100. Done. Okay? That is called a common fraction, remember? common fraction. Now in the previous lesson we taught you how to go from a common fraction to a decimal or it might have been two lessons ago. So we've got two zeros and so the decimals over there if you can't see it and so you just move it twice and so you end up with comma three five and then you just put a zero in the front. So see what we did. We went from 35 percent to a common fraction of 35 over 100 then to a decimal of zero comma three five. Now let's say we had about 265%, okay? So step one, divide by 100, so that gives you 265 over 100. At least now the percentage sign is gone, and then you just convert that into a decimal by realizing that there are two zeros, the decimal is currently over here, so you move it two places, and there you have it, 2 comma 65. Let's say you get 43.5%. So step one, just get rid of that percentage sign by dividing by 100. Now you've got two zeros and so you move the decimal two places and so you end up with comma 435. Then the number in the front, well because there's nothing there, you would add a zero. So now let's practice. 32%. Step one, write it over 100 because then it's the percentage sign is gone. Then we realize that there's two zeros and so we move the decimal place twice. And so you end up with comma, uh, whoops, comma, three, two, and so you just add a zero in the front. 8%. Step one, eight over 100. Then there's two decimal places, so that's two places. It's currently over here, so it becomes one, two and then you put your comma. So it's going to be zero, I mean comma, then there's an open space, then there's the eight. So in the open space you put a zero, and then if there's nothing in the front you also put a zero. So the answer is zero comma zero eight. 153, step one, divided by a hundred. Now your comma is at the back, so you move it twice, one, two, and so you end up with one comma five three. That's your answer. Seventy percent, step one, write it over a hundred, then take your decimal place, two places, one, two, and so you end up with comma seven zero. Now there's nothing in the front, so you just fill in a zero. So your answer is zero comma seven zero. One percent, step one, one over a hundred, and so the, the decimal is currently over there, and so you move it twice, one, two, and so that will give you zero comma zero one. Well, let me go through that again. I rushed that part. So the comma's over there, so that's comma, then there's an open space and then there's a one. So you fill in the zero in the open space and then if there's nothing in the front, then you should always put a zero. And so let's try another five. Okay, so the first one is 34,1%. Step one, divide by 100. Now you've got two decimal places, so you, or two zeros, so you move it twice, one, two. And so you end up with comma three, four, one, but then just add a little zero in the front. Next one, oh, this one looks interesting. So you keep it as zero comma eight, four over 100. That's always what we do. Then you move it two decimal places, so it's gonna go one, two. And so you end up with a comma over here, and then an empty space, then there's a zero, then there's an eight and a four. So in the empty space you put a zero, and then in the front you put a zero. So the answer is zero comma zero zero eight four. Thirty two point zero four. So that's going to be thirty two point zero four over one hundred. You then move your decimal place two places, and so you end up with comma three two o oh four. And then because it looks empty in the front, you add a zero. Thirty eight point zero three two. Step one. Write it over one hundred. You then move your decimal place twice, so one, two. And so you end up with comma, three, eight, oh, three, two. Because it's empty in the front, just add a zero. And then the last one for this lesson is 20, comma, four. So 20, comma, four over 100. That's the first step. Two decimal places, so move it two places back. And so you end up with comma, two, oh, four. Because it's empty in the front, add a zero. There we go, guys. That is how you convert a percentage to a decimal.